Hello and welcome to another update video about Bitcoin. Yeah, the Bitcoin chart yesterday um, retraced a little bit. Um, most of the rally that happened on Sunday is already retraced, but it's still holding micro support. We're going to take a look at that in this video. Overall, the price hasn't moved much since the last update. So we had our impulse to the upside, our correction to the downside, and um, currently it's all about, yeah, what's happening here in between, right? We had an impulse to the upside or even two impulses into the 2023 highs. And this counts best as a correction, either an ABC or a WXY. But the reason I'm not counting it for an ABC um, or as an ABC um, can be seen here because this move up is too high. So I, I did receive a question. So you can count it as an A wave, an overshooting B wave, of course. But then it's unclear what happens here. So you would have to count it either as a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. I never did that because this wave 4 is too high and it didn't look right down here. The only other way you can count it is to say A, B, C, okay? Um, but then this would have to be some kind of a, I mean, even if this is a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, then the low could be in, yes, that's why I've got the question mark wave 2 already finished. But then I need to see a 5 wave move up and a 3 wave pullback to confirm. Um, Important is still my message here that is, and it has been very, const, you know, con continuous and very, and it just has been a constant message throughout that to really confirm that a low is in here, we need five waves up, three waves down until we get the five up. Of course, it can easily break down all the time. Yeah, That's, that's why, and that's precisely why it is so important from a confirmation point of view to wait for five waves up and three waves down because it has also in the recent months continuously kept this community out of trouble now of course if you trade in between that's up to you i mean it's always up to you right but uh, you wouldn't do that with elliott wave so i mean you can but then just keep it small because um you need to understand there are always you know i'm, I'm speaking from the perspective of an analyst an analyst's role and the trader's role are different so the trader might not wait for confirmation the analyst has i cannot tell you that a lasting low has been established here this is now the one hour chart, yeah, that the lasting low has been established on, on the 11th of September if the price hasn't made five waves up and three waves down. Now, a trader might say, okay, but we've broken above resistance. I'm waiting for the first pullback to get in to see if I can get a nice, uh, you know, f favorable reward to risk trade. Um, but that would not be in line with the analyst's view, okay, because the analysis reveals to get clarity we need to wait for five waves and three down. So that might still be the right call for someone who's a trader, but only when the perspective of the trader and the analysis, analysis are aligned, only then, in my opinion and experience, it's worth taking aggressive trades. When the analyst says it's very uncertain here and we need five up, three down to confirm and have a good long trade opportunity here, um, and, and the trader might want to jump onto a trade, you know, those those perspectives are different. It doesn't mean it might not be the right perspective uh, from a trader's point of view, because essentially there is no wrong way to trade, but you need to make sure that your trade has a plan, that you know when to get out and, and so on, you know, pretty clear. Um, it's not that hard, actually. It's just that you need to have a plan, so work on your trading plan. But again, if those two perspectives are not aligned, it just means that as a trader, you just need to be a bit more careful, okay? Because it's not... It's not confirmed that we are back in a lasting uptrend, especially yesterday's movement to the downside shows how uh, fragile everything is, how fragile everything is. So, yeah, I mean, the situation is pretty much broadly unchanged. I added a trend line here to get an understanding if we can still climb higher in this choppy move, maybe in some kind of a price channel. Um, but at the moment, yeah, Bitcoin is holding support. It's in the support range. It could get one more high in a way five from here. With yesterday's move, however, I can only count that as a diagonal anyway. It's a it's an unlikely move, or let's say it's an unreliable move. It's an unreliable structure. Um, the, the next reliable setup will come if we get five waves up, three waves down. Until we get five waves up, this can top at any time, for example, in a WXY structure and break down. But it would need to take it below 26k to confirm, because that's the invalidation point. Um, until then, yes, even if micro support breaks here, Bitcoin might still have a chance to reset lower and then go. Um, therefore, I highlight very very much the 26K level. 
we won't really know before, but if the trend line breaks, I would argue the probabilities for a failure of the rally increase already. But you know that this is very choppy price action, so we have to be ready for, for whipsaw price action. You know, it's, it's just that kind of market at the moment. And that's precisely why I'm saying, okay, anybody who's trading the, the waves here, the short-term waves, um, you need to be aware of those headwinds, okay? I'm, I made you aware that above 27,480, and we're still above that level now again, but that was our breakout point to the upside, that we are probably in no man's land until we get all five waves filled in, and then we can work with it, okay? So that's exactly where we are. So we shouldn't be surprised above um, setbacks. And uh, someone asked me yesterday, yesterday in the comments, I said um, that I apparently said that we will follow the white wave count if we break above 27,480. No, what I did say is that I will take it very seriously, but that we will not have confirmation that a lasting low has been established until five waves up are filled in and three waves down. So it still needs to fill in five waves. I did mention we are in no man's land until we have those five waves filled in. So yeah, it's um, it's important. It's as important to know what to trade. Um, yeah, as, as it's important to know what not to trade. Okay. So again, only you can decide what's right to trade for you because that depends on your skill. You know, if a, if a wave count is tradable, depends on your trader skill. But I would argue, as I said before, for most people, gradual accumulation is the correct strategy in this market. Generally speaking, not uh, specifically for you maybe, but generally speaking, my opinion is that gradual accumulation uh, is the right way to do it for most people, Bitcoin, Ethereum especially. And then uh, if uh, an, an, you know, an interesting swing trade setup shows like this one, one, two there with a potential long trade opportunity down here, then this is one that my people might want to jump on. Anything in between really either gets you your fingers burned or um, if you're a skilled trader, you can trade it, you know, but make sure that you have a plan for each trade because you have to expect the headwinds. Okay, that's my update about Bitcoin. I hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. And um, yeah, also make sure that you follow us on Instagram and Twitter. And if you like uh, to check out the membership, the links are in the description. There's a weekly live stream every Sunday. You get access to Discord and Telegram. And there are short-term market updates for gold members. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.